Don't mind me. I'm just doing some housekeeping. G'day viewers. Just a few housekeeping issues. A couple of things that I wanted to tell you. Uh, first, I thought I'd show you a few technical tricks. I don't know if anyone's noticed uh, that the lighting's been better in my videos for a little while now. Because I've gone big budget. I'm not just going with a crappy IKEA lamp anymore. I'm going two crappy IKEA lamps. Let's see that. The one bright light there, and one bright light there for balance. So uh, you don't have to go big budget to get decent lighting. A couple of halogen lamps, uh, they're really cheap, not much more than 10 bucks each actually. Uh, they got little halogen bulbs in them. Really bad for the environment. They put out a fair bit of heat too. Just recently in Melbourne we had a couple days in a row of uh, being like 35 plus. I tell you what, when it's 35 degrees and you've got two of those bastards pointing at you, it gets hot. Now, the other thing, I've been doing my tricky like, ooh, look at me, look how that goes around, ooh. And a couple of people wanted to know how I did that. Again, low budget rules the day. If we switch to camera two, you'll see I've just got the camera on the end of my tripod. And the longer the distance you have it out, the steadier it is. It's a neat trick where you can fake a pretty good steady effect uh, with some basic tools. I actually knocked that idea off from Sam Raimi, uh, who directed Spider-Man, you might have known him from, but back in the day he did some cheap, almost no budget horror films, the Evil Dead films, and he came up with a steady cam effect where he stuck his camera in the middle of a long plank and had people run along, one on each end, running with the camera and it really smooths out uh, the motion. I'm going to try something similar to that when I can get a couple of people to help me put a video together. Uh, but yeah, low budget often gets good effects. I'm also going to show you one day how to fake the effect. That uh, prize Corey gave away at the uh, As One gathering, the steady thing to hold around, you can get a very similar effect without spending the couple of hundred bucks that one of those things costs or in Australian money, I think that's $50,000. So I'll show you that one day when I'm out and about with a crew as well. Speaking of doing stuff with people, uh, I'm really excited with some stuff I'm gonna be doing. The Melbourne Comedy Festival is coming up in about a month, and that's a really big comedy festival. I'm not doing anything in it, but one of my old college friends is a director, and he's got a lot of shows, I think about eight shows in the comedy festival. And I'm gonna be shooting some videos with the people who are doing those shows. So there'll be some actual funny people in my videos. I'm gonna start shooting those this weekend. Uh, and so you'll be seeing some very interesting stuff. Some up and coming stars of Australian comedy. Look out for that. I reckon those are going to be some really good stuff. Uh, mainly because it's not relying on me to be funny. And yes, I know a lot of people think at least some of the stuff I do is funny. But this will take a lot of pressure off. Just have the other folks being the funny ones. Oh, and what did you all think of the experiment with the uh, guest selected video program, whatever the hell they were calling it? That was pretty interesting stuff. I think you should all go out and volunteer to be the guest programmer and then feature me because I'm so goddamn sick of not being featured. Or just send a bunch of email messages to whoever the next guest programmer is and tell them to feature me. And they'll probably pay no attention. But be nice if you ask, okay? Anyway, that's all for this housekeeping. I'll be back to some more angry news and other stuff in the week. And stay tuned for the Melbourne Comedy Festival extravaganza coming over the next week. Bye for now. See ya.